Welcome to Upticks. I'm Jake Falcon, the founder of Falcon Wealth Advisors and your host of Upticks. Today is episode 159, Big Time Tax Planning. Thank you for joining me on another episode. I hope all of you out there are staying safe and healthy during this horrible pandemic. For today's topic, I wanted to talk about some big time tax planning strategies as we approach the fourth quarter of 2021. And wow, I can't believe I'm saying the fourth quarter of 2021. How this year has gone by quickly. It feels strangely very similar to 2020. And like I said, hopefully with these Delta variants and everything going on, that we can get to back to some level of normalcy before too long. Now, quick effort of disclosure, if you've listened or watched any of Uptick's episodes in the past, my compliance really, really wants me to be careful on that tax comment or tax word. Uh, again, disclosure, I am not a tax advisor. I'm not a CPA, nor do I try to play one on TV. But what I do do is I do do tax planning for our clients. So again, everything you want to do, you want to check with your tax advisor, get them to sign off on it. Make sure the person that's actually filing your return understands what these tax planning strategies are and can communicate the impact that they're going to have to you and your loved one's situation. Okay. So as again, we're entering the fourth quarter. So what can you do for some big time tax planning strategies? And number one is you want to make sure that you fully leveraged all of the qualified plans available to you. So this means your 401k or your IRA or your Roth IRA, health savings account, 529 plans, donor advised funds, things that I've been talking about for years now on upticks. You want to double check those and make sure that you're set up. And if you're looking to maximize those or looking to get a big benefit out of them, you want to make sure because it's not too late. You don't want to do this on December 31st. Call your financial advisor or call your HR department and say, oh, I got to make a change. It's probably not going to happen. It's too late. We're entering into September here. Get it done now. Stay ahead of it. Be big time. Big time tax planning. Go ahead and make sure that you're taking full advantage of any 401k matching, whether that's pre-tax, after-tax, Roth IRAs. You want to make sure. Good news with the Roth is you do have until April 15th of 2022 to get it in there for 2021, but there's no reason you shouldn't take a look at that now. Make sure you are fully leveraging it. Health savings accounts are huge. Um, not only do you potentially get a deduct, what you're putting in the health savings account, the money then grows tax deferred. And if you use it for qualified health expenses, the money then eventually can come out potentially tax-free, really big. And then one of my favorites is a donor advised fund. If you are charitably inclined and you're not using a donor advised fund, I encourage you, please email me at jake at falconwealthadvisors.com and I can explain to you the benefits of having a donor advice fund. It's a really neat way to potentially avoid paying capital gains taxes and ultimately, ultimately give more to charity. All right, so that's number one, that's big time. You wanna make sure you've got all these plans and accounts and things around you. You wanna make sure you're leveraging them and you're using them to the most advantage for you. Good, number two, number two, big time tax planning. We've had a great year in the stock market. We've had a great three years in the stock market. And in fact, if your account is not up in the last three years, call me, please. My number is 913-326-1901. You need to set up an appointment with us because the stock market has been on a roll. And a lot of our clients have realized a lot of gains. And so there's something you can do. You can either harvest some of these gains in a taxable account, which if you're in a low enough tax bracket may make a lot of sense, or as part of a well-diversified portfolio, even though overall your account is way up, and maybe you do have some gains that you've realized, you can do something called tax loss harvesting, which maybe sell some of these stocks that maybe haven't done as well as others and offset some of those gains. Again, this is big time tax planning in today's episode of Upticks. So I want you to take a look at that. Look at your realized gain or loss on the year. Again, we're leading into September. We've got plenty of time to look at maybe moving some things around and making sure that we're lowering that tax liability to your benefit big time again in there that you want to make sure you're looking at those realized gain or losses. And again, if you're a client of Falcon Wealth Advisors, we can pull it up very easily, very quickly, and have that conversation with you around tax planning. Those are two big time ones, right? Look at all of your qualified plans, 
then look at your tax planning in there, right? And the third tip that I have for you today, the third tip is that I want you to go out there and I want you to bug your CPA. Now, if you're a CPA and you're listening to this or watching this, I don't apologize. I want you to engage with your clients before year end. And I know a lot of CPAs are backward looking and I get it, but now you're not busy. So if you have some clients out there that have some tax planning questions, I would encourage you to meet with your clients now so that in, in April of next year, you're not out there saying, oh, you should have done this or you should have done that. Nobody likes to hear that. Let's get out ahead of it. Let's be proactive. Let's go out there and let's meet with our clients and let's talk to them. Say, get Jake to send me your realized gain or losses. Let's take a look at it. I'll give you some tax advice. So if you're working with a CPA, I encourage you to bug them now, email them, call them, say, hey, I want to get together in the fourth quarter. I just want to see where I stand. I want to know what's going on and see if there's anything that my financial advisor or my wealth advisor at Falcon Wealth Advisors can do to help my tax situation for 2021. Should be a simple conversation in today's technology age. I should be able to do a Zoom with you, a phone call, even going back via email securely should be the way to do it. So again, I encourage you to bug your CPA, your accountant, whoever does your taxes for you, talk to them now. Don't wait until April. Say, you know what? I want to know what's going on now. Jake can get you my tax information as far as my realized gains and losses. They can go over what I've contributed to all my various qualified accounts. Uh, where do I stand? And what can I be doing now to help me out for 2021? These are some big time tax planning things. Uh, and if you're not already subscribed, I don't know which side we're putting the button on, but please feel free to subscribe to our channel. That's the only way that you're going to make sure that you don't miss another episode of Upticks. Quick shout out to Corey Bittner uh, and Scott Sturgeon, two of my business partners. They're both cranking out content every week as well. So if you're not listening to those shows and you want more great content from Falcon Wealth Advisors, I do encourage you to tune in. It's Thursday afternoon. Uh, that is about all the time that I do have for you today. I'm recording this on a Thursday because I'm excited. I'm going out to Southern Hills to play golf tomorrow um, with some friends and clients. And so it's a four hour door to door trip. So I'm going to go down there in the morning. We're going to play golf, have a really good time in Tulsa, drive back the same night uh, and be in, be in time to be uh, at home with my wife and their wives and, and so forth. So we're significant others. But um, anyways, I uh, hope all of you out there are staying safe and healthy. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, if you do have any questions, you can certainly reach me at jake at falconwealthadvisors.com. And I hope you have a great week. Mm -hmm.